have a special stream. We have a raffle day and we are also doing playing uh, combo bear forks and then splinter twin but today with the combo bear forks so today I started a bit later because I had a few things to do but I will also stay longer so So I'm gonna finish one thing. Oh, maybe I should have put this up. So here we are. So we are gonna start playing this. This is a deck that's... I will call it Combo Merfolk. Because it's it works like the regular Merfolk deck. Uh, here. Like you just play Trunin Nemesis and Lords. And you end up winning with this. Oh. I love MTGO. The... They did not save the the list. I can just download it from Stream Decker. That will be easier. Uh, my decks. This. Okay, so the only thing I'm so they are really the only thing I'm thinking is on on putting one more bracing borrower into the deck, but I will really not know what cards. So maybe Sorcerer's Spyglass is the least good card, but yeah, we're gonna run like this. So. Okay, let's just jump into the league. Oh yeah, that use. Uh, that is fair. Okay. Here we have the deck list. Yeah. So let's see here the combo is to have Paradigm Shift plus um, Thassa's Oracle to just win the game against some other combo decks. And then just have a, a counter wall. Okay, friends. So this hand, this is an aggressive hand. We don't play against combo. So. 
So we are gonna keep this. Maybe the tent is a train wreck. Maybe it's so slow. Like no Vial, no Chalice. If we're playing against a combo deck, that's bad. But let's see. So we split the snow and the snow covered lands. So Bloodstand Mire is usually bad. It's gonna be Black Red Reanimator, Hogak. Yeah, that seems like. Probably Hogak. Yeah, this can be the same person we played yesterday on that deck. No, that's Reanimator. So. You'll have to play Drop also will. So. Here I'm. You have no real way of beating. Uh... So I'm just gonna play Chalice for one for zero here, and try to get it the that way. Let's see. Whatever this is, it's bad for us. Here we have the option to copy, yeah, to copy Phantasmal with Phantasmal image the the Grizzle brand. So let's see if we get there. Tomb and some other things. Okay, they're playing the new. So they go to one. Are they gain 18? Oh, yeah. They're playing the Children's of Callers deck. So we are here. A fair amount of cards we can bring in. So here the combo is good. So turn him nemesis. Chalice is good. I think Brace and Borrow is not what you want. So there's some reason to play Sorcerer Spyglass, but I think it's not really worth. Phantasmal Image is probably not that good without... So we just have a lot of hate and counter spells. Maybe Vial is not good here. So, okay, we have a hand without end that does nothing, so... So here, here we have the combo, in fact. But... We're gonna keep this. This is a bit a bit dangerous, but then we got to five. Then we got to four.
With them Mulligan to 4, I think playing Chalice on 1 will be better than on 0. So... Merfolk... Yeah, if we get cheesed by... by Chalice here... Maybe they looting. Okay. Here we can't play that, but I think just playing Chalice is so much better. So we dodged the Entomb. Could be collective brutality, but I don't think that's card that's played anymore. Serenity. Okay, so the serenity, but we win. So we cast paradigm shift. And we just play a merfolk. So yes, class us. The bad thing about that is they see your deck, but whatever. Yes, serenity, so probably brace and borrowers. So they were just looking at our sideboard. I think on the draw, the ether vias are less good. They're gonna port and they make this. So when we get to 100 viewers, I would do the raffle of the of the two playmats. So, bam, bam. Tell your friends to come join us. Uh, the problem is, how are you winning if you spy glass cursor brand? I mean, you don't have a real game if you do that. Also, they still have a 7-7 flying that you have a really hard time dealing with. So, that is my reasoning of it. I would board the needle if I had it, because it's faster, but using your turn 2, they, they can also just get Yuna or Elish Non or so. So I think it, this is the latest E1 land on. They begin with 7 cards. So it's the latest E1 land on deck. It still has Chancellors and other things. So we mold this.
So yeah, we keep this. So this card is really bad for us. So having the Foss here is really bad, but... Okay, this is a pretty good draw. Uh, Merfolk. So you need a lot of of Merfolks to raise a Grizzler brand. Okay, this Santa Swarm is really bad for us. We need to draw some hate. Like this one. I'm gonna name Fairy here. And cast the cage. Let's see if they have an out for the cage. So, okay. When you have 8 contest spells and... Tomb... They have 3 cards, so they will need... Oh, Shining Guns, okay. That's a card. Uh... They seem pretty prepared for this matchup. <laughs> That's a combo. Alberto, gracias. So... Shiningans and Entombing all in one. The reason I decklist had to fairy macabre in the sideboard, but I did cut them for force of negation. So So they 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 made they dredge one So yeah. It seems like they don't have any reanimation spell. They probably have another in tomb. So they keep Sanctus Phantom and Tomb.
Okay, now we are starting to cast Merforks. Finally. So let's see. They're going to cast something. That's what they throw. They could also entomb for losing. de parte de Alberto, cuando tengamos 100 personas viéndonos, vamos a hacer un sorteo de unos tapetes so... so we will raffle it soon, we have already 40 viewers should start soon the first raffle Mask and another Sunset Swarm. So, okay. Hello, La Joso. Okay, we are hitting for six. So they will only be able to draw one time. They have 10, so they can get Crystal Brand and only draw one time. So they're hard casting the Grizzle Brands. So that's been an interesting game.
So they unmask me and they take the Prodigon Shift. So here... The Brainstorm we don't play will be pretty good. There are three... We could draw into Brazen Borrower or Phantasmal Image. Or Chalice of the Void, <laughs> yeah. Chalice of the Void is not the card you want at, at this stage, but... They have no island, so... That's a card we wanted last turn, probably, but... This is to... So you see a uh, DM that he is spyglassing. You still have to beat the Grizzle Brand. Maybe we don't need to port in the the uh, so we will we shall keep the true name nemesis. Probably. So they go to 10, they go to 3, so they will have to reanimate something here. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not a fan of. Okay, if they have children, then it's fine. Go to two. They go to ten, they can draw again. Okay, now they can get Grizzel, uh, they can get Renny made the children of Corlys. They gain 20x life. Here we have to cast the Chalice on 2 because if we cast it on any other number, they can just training against it. So. Ritual, it's another ritual. They are masking me. Seven spells and fourteen. Okay. So.
Okay, so let's go for the second round. Yeah, the Shining Guns was a good card there. Can you can. So this is a mole. So we have Vial and so I'm gonna put Phantasmal image on the bottom. Okay, so Okay, maybe we get it could uh, Yeah, Charles, Karn, Karn. Karn was pretty good against our hand now. Okay, we, we are gonna curve out, so that's fine. They, they already knew that the affinity mechanic was not not good for magic and they put it again in Emery plus recasting things. So Emery is more or less the same as Luros plus it puts cards in your graveyard. We hope they don't have Narset. Hello, Andarchan. So they're replaying LED. So here having a fossil will would be very good. But yeah, at least we got to... This one's serious great. We got to play our... What is that? Three, four. That's a card I'm gonna counter that. Ursa. Yeah, if that's an Ursa, I'm also gonna counter that. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna dump the Phantasmal image. Bubble. More bubbles. So they're looking at a few cards out of hands. Yeah, Chalice and Fall is good, but they already have a huge advantage. They sell Tassel's Oracle. Here, yeah, the Chalice for Zero is pretty good. Yeah, they would have had more mana. They're probably drawing into something. Chalice for zero. Here we have two options. We can play... I'm gonna play the Lord of Atlantis. Oh! Ember is a Merfolk too. For some reason I thought it was a fairy. Now it has Highland. I don't work. Huh? That's not that bad as a clock. But we are not gonna care, probably. That's car. Yeah, okay. So now they can kill my chalice. Yeah, Karn is a so bad designed card.
So here we try it's where they didn't tap the, the Emery to recast the bubble. So we were in a good position if not for the Karn. Yeah, defense grid does nothing. One, two, three, four. They called. They called. Um, Latis this turn, but. Doesn't seem like. Okay, what's this? Oh, they discard another, another Ick of Aeons. Snaring Bridge. Okay. We can deal with the with the bridge. Because that. So we have the combo kill in our deck, so that's not as bad as you will think it is. So I'm gonna keep it at two. So we play a Merfolk, we play an Oracle, that's a lot of devotion. So we want to put any card on top uh, from this ones? No. Just put eight cards to the bottom. So we have six. Later we're playing this deck, the Splinter Twin deck, which seems pretty cool. So that's Ulfa. Ulfa is bad. So they start casting things. And this is Latis. Okay, yeah, that is this is Latis. So we are lock it out, right? So we can not cast anything. Okay. So this member is great against this deck. It's better to I think it's better to have cage than relic. Brazen borrower and force of negation. So we can cut Phantasmal Image. I think True Name Nemesis is good. Uh, Vias are probably bad. So... Yeah, Spikeless is good. I don't know. Let's see. We can name Karn with this. Whoa, this hand. I'm gonna mull. Even a try some series pretty good. Okay, this is probably better. You have the combo and the cage, so the mull to five. Here we don't have a card in graveyard, so... This is to clock the... Uh, I'm gonna reveal a Merfolk. And draw a card. Hola del Fano! So, let's see. Embry. Embry does not match here. 
they can they cannot cast echo so i'm gonna play waterlogged growth and just attack with this too they could just block that's perfectly fine I think my deck is good. Also, I don't know if it's good, good, but it it does. I think it's better than regular Merfolk for sure. So what's that? They can play Karn into into Bridge. Karn into I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, probably the deck needs the third Brazen Borrower. So I cannot activate my cage anymore, sadly. So I'm gonna play Padding Shift and then Oracle and win. Okay. So that seemed like the plan. So. Yeah, I think I like my game plan. Yeah. So the thing is that the. Blue counter decks, so this end is pretty fast. And we have this member, so I'm gonna keep. Yeah, we are soft to card, but I think it needs the third brace and borrower. I think it's a huge. It seems like a huge upgrade on possible playing game plans. Yeah, Embry. Yeah, the turn one Embry is always there, so. Okay, they milled nothing. Cool. Okay, now they have bubble, bubble. They look at the top of my deck. So I have to kill the, uh, this member Embry now. And I'm gonna do with the cavern. Because they can still... Yeah, they're on three cards. Let's see if we... Hello, Valley Mads. So they have four mana, they call Karn. They have no place, like maybe they are flooded. So here. If I play Lord. I, I, I will have to have to do a bit a bit of math. Okay, if I play Tasas Oracle at attack for two next turn instead of playing Lord, so... But if I play Tata's Oracle, but playing Tata's Oracle on 3 is also not that bad. So in how many turns do I kill? So next turn I play Lord, attack for 2. I think... I think I'm gonna play Tata's Oracle here to dig for a Fossil Will. Because just the Scry, I think it's worth, even by losing 1 point of damage. During the futures, but but yeah, I'll put this on top because I have, I have enough spells. Ancient tomb, bubble. Okay, so yeah, they look this out as a oracle. Okay. 
So here I can't play the second Tassa's Oracle, which I think it's fine. So how much damage I put? I think here casting a fall, finding a false where opponent is is a no spells, it's worth enough. Dismember, brace and borrower. So yeah, I put that on top. And it cast Chalice for zero. Uh, I thought the will will have been better, but you get what you get. I can choose the Chalice. Yeah, okay. So. You can recast it the next turn. So two, three, four, six. Echo. Oh, okay, that's okay. We have Foss and Chalice again, so maybe we survive this turn. We will put a high amount of pressure next turn on the board. Embry. Yeah, here Embry doesn't do well. Hola, Pagolilla. So they melt Ursa. So here we're casting Chalice, Lord, Lord. We stop here the zeros. And that's, I think that's lethal next turn. It's 12, yeah. So we have a false and lethal next turn. Me playing Silver Gear added to draw one card was better there. Like it was. Two less, so they go to thirteen, and then the next turn is is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. So they called echo here. I'm not gonna force that. It just lost. Ortha, yeah. So they can get Echo here. So they will need a bridge or so, <laughs> or a car. That's a car, yeah. So yeah, I'm sure this deck needs more. This deck needs more... This deck needs more Brace and Borrowers. You have to be able to deal with all the all the permanents on board. Hello Douglas, you're not streaming today? Yeah. We are pretty good. Not in a great position now, but in in a position. <laughs> so cast with additional reveals. I'm effort from hand. So we reveal adept. So another choice for zero. So here probably holding up false is better. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just I'm fine. Every everyone is is good if you are not salty or bad to your weavers or opponents. So I don't enjoy to watch streamers that are salty or treat their 
their opponent's bad or even the viewers. Sometimes viewers have taken not the best decision, but you don't have to tell them they are dumb, so because they are not. Magic is hard. And when you do this, people people do this on stream a lot. So what is this? They're activating Ursa. That's fine. Or maybe I'm wrong think a bit, but so now they draw seven cards. I should have played the other chalice. Why I didn't do it? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna just draw seven cards. Yeah. Spyglass. Spyglass is not bad at all. So why I did not play the second chalice? Eh, it's better that they they do. So now they need to get rid of all the cards in their hand. Uh, so they could get Latis here. But they will be able to attack with some. So what is this? Yeah, okay. It was counter, but in my head I would have played it and into my own chalice. I would have. So should we force this? Yeah. Sometimes I'm smart, but not this time. So the problem here is they can 3, 6, 7, 8. So they could play Lattice, but they will die. So I'm I'm gonna force this. They did not use Karn, but Let's see. Play Island. You can use the Karn to kill the Lattice. It's two, three. Why did they didn't want to sacrifice Astro's Bible? They didn't tap us. Okay. They're spinning. This is good for us. Another Ursa, this is fine. We don't care about the tokens. We care about other things. I think they had the game pretty much solved when... Okay, they killed Chalice. We can cast a zero, one, two, three, four, five. They can cast a zero again. So they can spin again. Oh, yeah. If they tempt the ancient tomb. I still, I still have lethal, right? Wait. Two cards. I can't dismember my own thing and swing for lethal? Two, four. I'm missing one damage for that. Uh, let's see. So. I could attack with this, this, and this. So I could attack with this, this, and this. So they would be at one. Yeah, that sounds not like a plan. So if I kill this, this attacks. 
They block here, but this is for damage only. So we are one short of this. So probably the best plan is to play Spyglass, hold, kill Urtha. And... So... I can Oracle, but I will not have the mana. I can also Oracle and find... Tiki Air? What is Tiki Air? Yeah, the thing is... Yeah, Urs why, why... We have Islam Wall, but for going under the bridge on two cards, we have to to dismember our own lord. That means that this is not gonna attack because it will still have three power. And this is gonna die. So this other lord is not gonna have Islam walk. That's a problem here. But if I remove the one lord, the other lord loses Islam walk. That's a problem. So the thing, uh, the other problem is of the remembering Ursa, it's, that's two mana, two mana. Yeah, I'm gonna play for sure the Tassas Oracle. So I could find the other, the other dismember. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I have mana, so finding the second dismember is game. We can also find Brace and Borrower for the future. So. Okay, we did not. So uh, those all all those cards are really nonsense. So yeah, no. So I'm gonna blind draw and play Spyglass. Oh, no, I cannot blind draw. I will have to Spyglass, Karn, and Dismember. Yeah. So, okay. So, Karn, the Great Creator. Dismember, Urtha. And try to hold the forge. He had a lot of devotion to find the dismember, yeah, but only so six, eight, twelve cards. Only twelve cards, so finding the second dismember was not that easy. So okay. We also didn't find one of the brazen borrowers. So that's one of the seed of synods we saw. This can't be activated. Another Emery, which, okay. Lion's Eye, so yeah, that does nothing. So we will have to find Brace and Borrower to win the game. But if we do, it's two. This is game three, right? So yeah, they can recast something. Yeah. Silver Adept is better than Yeah. I'm gonna cast this. We draw a land. Okay, choice for serious, not bad at all. At the end of the turn, we are gonna draw. If not, so let's see. So they draw. They see my fossil will, which is 
the draw. So they, they want to find something. They could also just die because of that. Yeah, they can always LED. So now I can attack. So they play the land, so we know all the cards. Narset. Uh, Narset can be bad. How bad is Narset? Like, it doesn't get Ursa, so it could be get Echo of Aeons. But yeah, I'm gonna let Narset resolve. Yeah, if they have Echo and Narset. Ursa, yeah. That's the card we wanted to force. So they have a few echo less. So they are not activating Narset. Which is weird at least. Pretty theft. We won the match? We won the game? Yeah, we won the match! Yoohoo! So, 1-1. One, one. No, it's we play it's two off because we play one in the main deck, one in the sideboard. But we should play for sure three. So I'm pretty sure we should play three of them. So I don't know, maybe Dumping Sphere is not a good card. So, I will not miss having an, more Bracing Borrowers. The card seems pretty good. Also, it also helps that we... Don't try to fuck with you again, so... So, this is the deck we're playing. But I think more Brace and Borrowers would be good. Maybe another force of negation or something like that. Dumping sphere doesn't seem that 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 good. So yeah. So Third match. Easy Money Marksman. That's a long name. In the play, we have a vial and magic cards, so we keep this. Here, I think we have to go for for the waterlogged growth. into this because they called 
they're probably more inclined to cold force this if we play a uh, if we play it of a pain of a pain land up pain. So Volk Ponder. So that this can be show and tell. This can be uh Delver. I think that's show and tell. Here now the question is to yeah you have to play the the second merfolk so we're gonna put the clock on it will be a casting this next, next turn. Okay, so yeah, we got slightly rewarded maybe for doing that like so. If they show and tell something, we are gonna put true name nemesis. So this seems like rock. Okay, or ten thousand million true name nemesis seem. Pretty good against that Parmogoyf. So we're gonna play this and try to get the land. Chalice for one. We can deny this Chalice for one for sure. So we play silver. Will adapt. Some revealing lord. Okay, cavern on Merfolk. I can't do cavern on Luger. And the second vial. So okay, now we have a pretty decent clock. Let's see what they do. They can waste something. Yeah, Thermogoyf. Okay, yeah. We are getting hit with by that. Okay, now I can play Chalice and and the Lord. Here we play Chalice like that. You're gonna probably force something or force that. Spessner. Spessner is also fine. So we get to cast the Lord. And we are activating Vial now because of spell uh, Stifle. They call Stifle or Vial. So. so I don't think they can win this. So this is a matchup where Paradox Shift combo is not what you want because your creature deck is just strong enough. So, so you want a few of these members. Relic of Progenitus is also nice. The Brazen Borrower. So this is the cards I'm looking forward. So Paradox Shift is one of the cards. So I'm probably a fossil will. It's not bad to have fossil will, but also not that good. So yeah. So 
So we have Chalice, we have Cavern, we have Relic, we have a lot of cards that hurt them. So here, we're gonna keep this hand. No. They're probably bad against the the turn one Delver, but we are pretty good against the turn one Ponder. So we would like to draw Vial or Relic here. But drawing another land is also good. They choose not to shuffle. Yeah, okay. That was exactly the draw we didn't want it. We cast another Ponder. Uh, the Super Qualifier, I'm not gonna play the Super Qualifier in two hours. Because it's, it's bad for streaming. Also, I'm already qualified for the shitty PT. So... So... I think the qualifiers now are... Like, you have to win a qualifier that's 220 people or, or so. Or hundreds and so. Or make a 5-0 in an arena event, so and also this brother is like the worst. But I think it's very bad for streaming to have the the Pro Tour build how the how the events of MTBO are built, the cast with another reveal. So I think it's also better for for the people Watching. Here we draw a land, which is great. So, if they don't have wasteland, I'm gonna just deploy or true name nemesis. Okay. So, it's true name nemesis time. And ro running true name nemesis. So, here we attack for two. So running true names is not good. So they are bolting that. Hey, two damage we got in. We have another non wasteland land. Brainstorm, okay. So trading the the Okay, they will have wasteland. Okay, so we are probably on the Chalice plan here this turn. Let's see. Oh, they are casting a Mandras. Mandras is pretty good against True Name Nemesis. Hmm, this is a bit late for the party, I think. Maybe not. Me just getting to draw the card is already fine. I'm gonna play Relic here. And just try to get my land drops. Yeah, that's not the land drop we wanted, but maybe the land drop we deserved. Another wasteland, yeah, okay. Ooh, friend. How good is this? So, blue, blue, another true name. So now here we could just chill. Okay. They can see that. So yeah. I think this matchup is quite easy for the deck. So okay. 
Yeah, that being serious, probably not the worst. <laughs> I'm just while we wait, I'm gonna edit the deck. So if I play it in future, to just having the known information. I have here delayed. Grayson. You have four Brazen Borrowers, it's not crazy. But. Hmm. Maybe another Dismember is also good. I think I like the Brazen. I think Brazen Borrowers is one of the best cards you can have. So, yeah. This. To one Didi do so 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 yeah if a good hand. You can play Chalice on one, and then Chalice on one, and then Merforce on something. And then Ragdoll, yeah. Okay, here we, we are just gonna smash the... the Chalices to the board. We could even copy the... Here with a true name. Okay, they're pausing. With Oko, okay. Yeah, Raktor seems like a good matchup. Lightning Ball, so we need to resolve this other Trades. The bad thing here is Lightning Bolt is pretty bad, pretty good, even with Chalice against Phantasma damage because it just triggers. So. Merfolk. We play another Chalice for one. Here they could. They could Bolt us. Yeah, that's probably gonna happen. Yeah. Okay, we got the cat chalice. So we'll have to play Phantasmal Image into... Wasteland, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm gonna play Phantasmal Image into the Delver. If they have something to punish me, then whatever. It's a goif. Oh, that's a mantras. I can just trade for the mantras here. Which is also not that bad. Three hits. Yeah, I think... No, I think I'm not... Gonna win a game like so. Uh, Merfolk, yes. So here they have a bolt or so. I'm in bad shape. Echo Days. So I'm gonna copy Delver. And then next turn, try to hold the fort for the.
another wasteland. It's an oko. Okay, this is just clothes. Yeah, they need blue for oko. They did not need to untap the so Oh. Okay. So he ain't gonna cast fast as Oracle. Digging me, me name. Thanks for the follow. Ether Vial and Chalice, so I don't want any of those cards. So the last card is probably a Daze. Or a CMC 1 card. Whoa. The use of triple wasteland draw. Yes. I'm fine with that. So we don't draw a land. gonna be bad. We need to draw like running lands. Yeah. Delver into into ape is not that good. So I remember everyone that when we get to find the viewers I'm gonna ruffle the playmats so cut your friends. Okay, this is great for us. Go to four. They are casting. Will this be the usual game where I cast Chalice on zero and they have no CMC zero cards? That would be bad. So this turn we can jump the so double block the apes. What are they thinking so slow? We do have a spell or you don't have it. That is the only They make another food. Mm. 
Okay. Okay, they keep this order, which is good for us. That dreadful darkness. That's... Hmm, they were thinking I was playing the Delver. Seems about right. So we need to draw a land. If we draw a land. Maybe I missed my Chalice Trigger. Land. Ether Vial, no. Let me make this. So, yeah. I need to draw a land here. <laughs> this was a good draw. So. Now we know what we are playing against. So. We can bring in all our cards, like the last round. Or you could cut even more fossils for, for cards like Spyglass, but... Okay, so... Let's see. So we just need to keep the the true name nemesis in hand. Running to nemesis is not something they can beat. So yeah, this is good. If this Vaya resolves... So it's probably they take out forces in this matchup, but... You also never know. So... Here the big question is to play Waterlogged Grove first or Mutavald. So if they have Wasteland... So it doesn't matter if or Vial doesn't get countered or destroyed, but two minutes tanking on this. They even boarded Force of Negation. Yeah. Okay. So we are one card ahead already. Is good. Okay, 
Uh, I'm gonna play the relic here. One minute thinking about what to remove with Reddit because it's hard. So that means they have another fetch land or they have a wasteland. So wasteland, yeah. Arcanist, that's also fine. So here is the question if we I'm gonna just hold back. I should I should eat that with Arcanist. Yeah. They wasteland my blue land. I'm fine. Just gonna draw. So I need to draw the card, so I got an Arcanist turn. Hmm, I think they are thinking they are not doing this right. I think they cannot cast the Brainstorm anymore. At least we are getting something from our place. We only have this place, so we're gonna throw this. Okay. So we stop at the Dread her manas, but we will still need to draw blue mana sooner than later. So they could play Oko here. Got it. Okay. That's bad. And the user deck with 10 islands, but doesn't draw one. Here, drawing any artifact that is not a relic will be pretty bad for us. Yeah, we kept on the turn 1 via hand, and it didn't work out, so... I'm not gonna risk my mutables. So four lands for our opponent. Uh, so they are bad against Oko, but the rest of your deck is pretty good. Even if they don't have Oko, you can just... You need Chalice on one. 
to get ahead. Also, just by violin and getting two counters and just play one or two spells, you get a 3-3 three, three and you cast one spell for free. And Chalice is also fine. Also, if they don't have the Oko, they cannot dig for lands and they cannot dig for for the Oko. But the Merfolk is not the best via a Chalice deck because you cannot cast it on turn one. So... So, you get an advantage out of this. Now, they cast its Brainstorm. It's the second Brainstorm, yeah. So, Delver, that's an OO. Well. Land. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna win this game anymore. So. Yeah, we keep the hand on the, on the back of Maya. But... It didn't work out. So we're gonna play the last round of this. And then play the Splinter Twin deck. I carried you home, taking all the weight off your shoulders. Now we're falling into one year older. It's funny how I love again when I was so Times and now my tries Deja vu round Spinning me into another lost time Tell me where this road will end Before I drive over the edge Give me one break to Recover myself Because I can't bear Now I'm into my thinking About you I'm into my thinking Whether I'm too kind To give you all of my truth I'm into my thinking now I'm into my thinking about you, I'm into my thinking But I'm too kind to give you all of my truth, I'm into my thinking Okay, we are back and we are gonna play the last league of the match. Uh, also, it's better to play Snowlands because if you go, if you play, go Island Go, then your opponent knows that you are not playing uh, Uro Oko Pile, so they would play along that. Also. So they don't have to play around Astrolabe maybe. Maybe they keep a, a port or so. And also here in this deck I choose to to play half half because there is a card called Predict that they name a, a card and then they hit. So if our opponents plays Predict we have a less chance of doing so. So Also, if you're first to draw, so it's like snow and non-snow, you're always gonna play a two drop, so...
So let's play the last round. Flower Danion. I'm looking forward to your band. Yours. I'm looking forward to to play the. You're playing against Yuri, or maybe this is a keep on the draw. So I'm gonna keep this. This is risky, but. I'm playing against Yorion. We have three draws to hit the land. Hmm. Probably we only have two draws to hit the land. So this deck seems good, but I don't think it's good enough, the Merfolk deck. <laughs> we just do not shuffle. Land? No, okay. Yeah, this is very risky, that's for sure, but I like to keep slow and risky hands against slow and opponents opponent's decks. I think that's sometimes a way of winning. I'm on that growth. Here we just draw the land this turn, then we are completely on it. Okay, we are playing the game. So here comes Lord of Atlantis. We show this Lord because of yeah, having a Lord is no one cares about. Yeah, Chalice is also a neat draw. So I'm gonna hold the the combo towards the end. Here, if I have to force, I'm half forcing. I will force an Oko, not an Oro. Narset. Uh, yeah, we don't care about Narset. So. They find. Okay, they found Oko. So we are gonna... Wow, this changed things quite a lot. Yeah, I think here we just go for... <coughs> for casting things. Also, the chalice is less good because of the the chalice is less good be because of Oko. Yeah. Okay. They draw cards. How would that growth? True name Nemesis. So they can bone something. I don't know if they are doing, but yeah, they're bouncing. So they know we have the Lord, so we can deploy the Lord. Probably not doing. If they play Oko and tap out, I'm deploying the Lord to kill Oko. I don't even have to. So then it's Reclamation Prismatic Vista, okay.
Oh. Okay. I didn't know that. We should probably cast this post combat, but. Attack, attack. Yeah, they're playing Dread the Death of Winter, so that's the reason I'm not gonna deploy the third through Name Nemesis. So I think two is a huge clock. So. That means we are just gonna hold up. Do we need to find the Dread of Winter? And we don't have the force. They probably have the force. Chooses to shuffle. So. Here for us, hitting an ant is also not bad, but... So we will force with Lord of Atlantis here, if we need to. Good thing is they already used one Mystic Sanctuary. What are they doing? They're playing Oko into our stuff. <laughs> so we are casting. They're casting the Oko. So if we draw a land, we could go Chalice, Lord, Foss, and have Lethal. So that will be 4 and 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. So if we draw a land, we can go for Lethal. Here. So they are playing Oko. Yeah. And then they get a food. So here, I'm probably not. I'm gonna ignore Oko because Oko is gonna ignore me. Land, boss. Okay, here we could go for just for winning. So that is. 8, 9, 10, 11. So yeah, I'm just gonna go for the kill with double force backup. Attack, flower. So that's just lethal. We have swords. We have force, force 2. Yeah, force of negation. I have the two. Uh, turn a false there was also an option. So okay, really, because Progenitus is great against that deck. Force of negation is not bad. So. I think Phantasmal Image is bad. And Brazen Borrower is not what we want. Maybe the Chalices are bad. They have so many ways to deal with it, but. You get it, it's also really good. Yeah, Lord was lethal, but they probably had swords, so I need to find the second 
There's again the same scenario as before, and I'm gonna keep again. Now our hand is better. Also, not better, better. But. So we could draw a cavern here. So next turn we're gonna play Chalice. Yeah. Sylvan Library is... Yeah. It's a really strong card nowadays. Rumix99, thanks for the follow. They probably sided out all their forces. Here we will need to draw a cavern to be able to combo through. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's fine. So. They land, they can play no spells. I'm gonna play Silver Drill Adept. Gonna reveal the Lord. Not the Tithes Oracle, so they don't know I have the combo. And we got rewarded by trying a land. So here, probably, I'm. Let's see if I draw a land. If they kill my lord or something like that. So the true cards with this. Click engineer on Merfolk. Um, this is worth forcing. Huh. I'm gonna force that with I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm gonna pitch the Lord. Yeah, we cast Ponder. Maybe to cast it or maybe to... Oh, they want to Uro up. That's a plan. So... Here we just go for game, right? Like, we padding shift here. And then we just cast the Merfolk. And win the game. Mm, I'm not gonna put it on bottom. You! Combo Merfolks. The combo fishy. Okay. So, you're gonna play this Splinter Twin deck. Yeah. So, this is the deck. I think the main deck is pretty fine. Uh, the Max Tortion say that it was a bit charged on CMC3. But... We are just gonna cut a, a Teferi for a Silver Library. And then I have to finish the sideboard. Like, Fossil Negation is good. And Archan, thanks for the follow. So... So, an Arsene is also fine, so I'm just gonna go like he did. Page. I think I like Cage more than Surgical. Here, just random cards. So. Hmm. 
So I'm gonna erase the wish list. And then just reopen it. Okay. So this is This always needs a bit of time, but upload. Just the deck. Yeah. You're gonna need to Yeah, time for trade. So you're renting this. Okay, those are all the cards we ordered. So here we just update this. Um, okay. Now we have the save, and we can give the cards back to mana traders. So that always needs a bit of time, but. We do it. And the Metro Tech did not end bad. And so a three two on the first draft of the of the deck is is fine. And so yeah, losing to the combo decks is bad, and losing to Rack, but the deck, deck seems better than we would have bet it was. So I'm finishing to set up everything. Good. So. 
so the last thing we have to do is to put the deck in stream decker modern legacy uh, twin export and let's play the league I was not one of those twin deck players Okay, that's right. He's an Eldrassi player, so this one is good. So let's see. Delta. Maybe that's Reanimator. Oh, okay. So this is the usual card that you have to force because this makes everything go wrong. I'm gonna keep the X art. It may be wrong, but... <laughs> yeah. Instantly rewarded with another brainstorm. So Oko is not a great card in the in the Hogak matchup. So, so careful study is fine. 